All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hey, hey, hey. How is everybody doing today? Let me see some people online. Great, great, great. Hey, how are you doing, Miss Mr. Jose? How is everything? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm really good. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. How yeah. was how was your day and, and everything? Uh today it was a, a very hard day. Oh. Uh, but but I feel well. All uh, right. Yeah. Why was it a hard day? Because uh, there are a uh, there was a lot of consumer in the company. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh my. And <laughs> stressful. <laughs> yeah. But but okay. Perfect. Uh, perfect. The the lives carry on. Exactly yeah. right. Life goes on, so we have to you know continue like like nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, Thank for you. sharing about your day. Thank you. I have more people online and that's great, great, great. What about you, Manuel de Jesus? How is everything for you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm good, teacher. Oh, perfect, perfect. How was your day? I had a, a busy day. Really? What is? Yeah. What did you do? I I working in a mm -hmm. in a company of beverage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we manufacture the Pepsi and Gatorades. All right. Or the petit. Mm -hmm. um, it's a a company for manufacture. All right. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Have you have uh, many orders for today? Excuse me. Uh, have you had many orders this day? You know, to manufacture things. Yes. <laughs> uh, every day we we have we have a lot of order. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> All right, but thank you so much, you know, for making the time to join to your class. Thank you. I appreciate that. More people online. How are you doing, Patricia? Mr. Miss Patricia Estela, how is everything? Hello, hello, Patricia. Can you listen to me? All right, probably not yet. What about the rest of you? How is everybody? Can I, uh, can you tell me about, how are you doing? Ready for class, everybody? Hello, hello. Yes. Yes. Ready. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about the rest? Are you ready, people? Hello, hello. Yes, ready, yeah? teacher. All yeah, right. Teacher, Thank you. Thank you so much. Amazing. Let's get started then. All right. Let me just double check quickly on attendance. And after that, we move to uh to the first practice and everything. I'm just checking that everybody here is present and ready to participate. Remember, that is very important in your learning pro uh process. All right. So let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Um, let me see. Uh, the first person that is Cristian Alberto Escalante. Cristian, Cristian. Cristian Alberto Escalante. Hello, hello. Nothing. All right, not yet. Probably I continue. Claudia Esmeralda Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Amazing. Thank you so much. Eric Steven Vasquez. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hey, hey. Good evening. Thank you. 
Thank you. Stephanie Guadalupe. Hi. Gracias. Teacher, I Bye. just want to say something. It's because I'm getting out to my work already and I'm driving. All right. All right. No problem. Just be careful. All right. Be careful when driving. But thank you so much for the notification. All right. Thank you. The next person. And thank you so much, Stephanie, for your confirmation as well. I appreciate that. Next person. That is Guillermo de Jesus Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Here I am. How is everything for you, mister? Everything is okay, teacher. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. The next one, that is Gustavo Javier Galán. Hello. I'm All here. Right. Okay. How are you doing today, mister? Everything okay. Just huh? fine. I... Uh, I... Acabo de. I just finished. Okay, I just finished uh, take my dinner. Ah, uh, I, ju I just finished having dinner. Okay, I just finished having dinner. All right, all right, okay. all right. Thank you. So that's nice, 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 nice. Perfect. Right on time for the class. I appreciate that. The next one is Iris del Carmen. Hello, Iris. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How is it? How is it going? Uh, fine, a little bit tired. <laughs> That's like our life, right? After working and everything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, but I appreciate your your you know your commitment to be here in the class. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. The next person is Javier Perez Castillo. Mr. Javier Perez Castillo, probably not yet. I continue. Jorge Alonso López. Jorge Alonso, not yet, probably. The next one, Jose Efraín Rosales. I'm ready, teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. Jose Roberto Escalante, the one and only. Hi, teacher. Okay. I'm fine. I think okay. I'm happy. I'm happy uh, to stay in the uh, class, teacher. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, mister. The next person, Karen Elizabeth. Hello, Karen. Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening, evening, everyone. Hey, how was your day? Uh, very tired, but very well. In general, very well. All right, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. The next one is Catherine Priscilla Castillo. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Hey, how was your day? How was your day, Miss? A little bit tired, teacher. I attend the auditor. Oh, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, all right. But at the end, in general terms, was everything okay? Yes, all okay. <clears throat> all right, amazing. Thank you so much. The next person, Katia Saray Pimentel. Hello. I'm Hello. <clears throat> how is how is everything, Miss? Oh, I think um all oh, it's good. Uh, hmm? today was a very busy busy busy, busy day. Busy? busy? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. The next person is Katie Isela. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. How are you doing today? It's okay, teacher. Um, okay. My day was very busy, but it's okay. I'm right. ready for the class. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kiri. Thank you for joining. The next person, Manuel de Jesus Rodriguez. I hear them. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much, mister, for joining. Thank you. Thank you. The next person, Miguel Eduardo Garcia. <clears throat> Miguel Eduardo Garcia, probably not yet. The next person, Monica Andrea Vasquez. Miss Monica, hello, hello. Probably not yet, no problem. I continue with Mr. Norman Josimar Cruz. Hey, how is everything for you, mister? Everything is okay. 
perfect, perfect. That's the first. all right. Thank you so much. I love listening to that. Thank you so much. The next one, Oscar Edgardo. Hey, Oscar, how is everything for you? Good evening, teacher. I uh, it was tired, but uh, everything it's okay. Amazing. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Pablo Gañas, how are you doing today, Mr.? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good so, evening. So, so. Good, good. good. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Are you ready for class, mister? Yeah, teacher. Amazing. Thank you yeah. so much. I appreciate, uh, you know, your commitment, as I mentioned earlier, to be here in the session. Thank you. Thank you. Patricia. Estela Bonilla. Hello, Patricia. Hi, teacher. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Everything okay for you? Yes, I am very good. All right. Did you go to the gym today? No, because uh, no. I was very busy in the afternoon because I was a lot of delivery. I uh -huh. decided I went to <laughs> go to the deliveries in All the right. afternoon. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, you know, work comes first, right? First work and then the rest. <laughs> yes. All right, thank you so much, Patricia. Thank you for joining. Robin, what about you? How is everything for you, mister? Good evening, teacher. Good Around evening. here, a little sick with the flu. Oh, man, all right. Try taking some medicine and try to rest, you know, some teas, you know, something hot for your, for your throat, right? And you'll be fine. But thank you yeah. so much for joining. All right, perfect. The next one, Zaida Eunice Morales. Hi, good evening. Hey, how was your day? How is everything? Um, very well, ready for the class. Perfect, thank you, thank you so much. Sergio, what about you, mister? How's it going? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Ready for class? Yes, teacher, I am ready. Amazing. Uh, with some tired, but... Uh, <clears throat> Live, I am live my same jobs routine every day. I, I remember, right? We are, we are a, a middle of the week. Uh -huh. my, ener my inside energy is put <laughs> down. My goodness, it is depleting, right? Going down, going down. <laughs> All right, but well, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate that. Thank you. The next person that is Vanessa Lisset. I don't know, but I believe she's not present. All right, Vanessa. All right. So I move to Victor Samuel. How are you doing, Victor? Victor, Victor. Yeah, yeah, I am here. Hey, perfect. How, how is everything for you? Uh, everything is normal. I okay. Uh, what about you? Are you? I'm ready for class. So yeah. I'm really happy and excited because today we have you know more practice, and I love listening to you. I love helping you. So it's a good day. Why not? Yeah, is is is. I glad to see you. I glad to hear that. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, with that, I believe we finished on attendance. Thank you so much for your confirmation. Thank you so much for your participation at this point, all right? Just as a friendly reminder, if possible, remember that the use of the camera is required. So please, if you have the possibility, try to turn it on so you can, so we can interact with people, you know, that makes everything better and, you know, interaction improves as well. Just to let you know about this one, uh, <clears throat> I'm checking on attendance and the majority of you is doing really great on attendance, all right? Probably later on or tomorrow, I can share with you an update about the attendance. Many people are over <clears throat> 55, 60%. That is the approximate, uh, the, the maximum we can get at this point. So congratulations to all of you for also uh, for being very responsible for this one. I just want to let you know that uh, as part of administration, 
they will select three people in the course, all right? Three people who will <clears throat> have like, uh, will be, right? Consider the best of the class, right? That's the idea. So three people from this course will be considered the best. How do we manage that one or how do how do we pick you? How do we pick you? We select the people with the best attendance and also the best scores, talking about homework assignments, and also uh, the person or the people who participate the most. So let's work for that one that is part. Imagine that when you finish the course, you say, hey, you are in the top three, right? Of this one, you're number, uh, you are um, the third place in the course, the second, but go for the first place as well, all right? So let's work together, you know, continue uh, joining on time, stay in the complete session. Uh, remember to send your homework assignments, which I will give you feedback later on, and also try to participate as much as possible, right? When there are questions for volunteers or anything, you go for participation, go for participation. So please, let's keep it up, all right? Now, <clears throat> let me check on something at this point. All right, we continue working with the course and check on this one. What class are we having today, guys? Who to class 16. Class 16. There you 16. are, there you are, exactly. After this one, nine more classes to go. So, wow, let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Thank you so much. Now, we continue working on unit number three, as you know. And do you recall the name? Monitoring personnel. Exactly. Thank you so much, Oscar. What about the rest? Do you remember the name or did you listen to Oscar? User, what is it? User Perfect Modale. Ah, that was the structure. And the name of the unit, Pablo? Uh, Monitoring. Uh -huh. What's three. the name? What's the name of the unit, Pablo? Unit three. Mm -hmm. Unit three, teacher. Exactly. Uh -huh. And the name is Monitoring. Monitor. Uh, Check on the screen. Monitor, Check. monitor, monitor personnel. There you are. Thank you so much. Monitoring personnel. Exactly. That's what we have on this unit. We continue working with an objective, as you know, on this one. And this is uh, the second part of yesterday's objective. But let's refresh that one. I need your help. Everybody, let's remember the objective from yesterday that we continue today, right? Let's read together. We, everybody. We, we will be able to be able to to Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's the idea. Now, do you remember what we were uh, checking on yesterday? Time for review. Exactly, thank you so much. Let me ask on some people at this point. Claudia, do you remember about yesterday's class? Mm, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it, please. I, uh, I learned mm -hmm. about should, shouldn't, mm -hmm. but expressing regret. All right, all right, thank you so much. Let me ask more people on this one. What about you, Guillermo? What do you remember? We were studying how to use perfect models. Oh, exactly, perfect models, thank you so much. And Monica, what model did we use yesterday? <clears throat> I don't remember. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Ask for help. Can you ask a classmate to help you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sergio, can you help me, please? Yes, uh, Monique. Uh, we uh, participate 
participated in, mm -hmm. in break room uh, with the exercise uh, mm -hmm. when they a car uh, showing us uh, some situation and we can uh, use mm -hmm. the modal uh, expression. Mm -hmm. then have to or should have to uh, there was the exercise at last of night yesterday all right all right thank you so much that's it nicely done nicely done so as you mentioned we practiced um past models to express regrets you know when you feel bad about something of the past and we express uh, ideas about, we express regrets. Just to have a quick review on this one, let me switch uh, this moment to my browser so we can, you know, socialize some information at this point. This is the first one. Okay, perfect. At this moment, people, we go for past participles at this point, all right? Check on the instruction. What does it say? Past participle of? The nice. It. Of it. it. Of it. it. What is it? It. All right. It. How it. do you, sp how do it. you spell it. it? Let's go. Let's work together and quickly. How do we spell it? E E E E E E E N N. All right, thank you. This is tricky, you know, easy. What about this one? What's the past participle of this? Gone. 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 Exactly. Right. This was easy, so I will help you this one. Gone. Amazing. <clears throat> what about this one? Writing. 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 Written, written, right, 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 and written, tomato, tomato. Let's see on this one. Writing. Let's check. You say written, written, written. yeah, okay. there you are, right? Written. written. Thank you. Let's work together. Let's spell together. It is W W R R R. I, 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 T, 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 N, N, N. Thank you. There you are. Thank you. What about this one? Run. 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 Exactly. Run. Run. There you are. Amazing. You know, the same. Run. Run. Exactly. Amazing. <clears throat> what about this one? What is it? Made. 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 Let's work together. How do we spell it? M A M A E A E A D E F F F D E. There you are. Thank you. There you are. Amazing. What about this one? Box. 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 Right. Uh, let's work together. Let's spell this one. B, B, B O, 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 U, O, U, O, U, U, O, U, 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 G, H, T, H, T, H, T. There you are. Amazing. Check on this one. What is it? Flow. 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 Pronunciation. Flow. 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 Exactly. Let's work together. Let's spell it. F L O L W L O W L O W L O L O W O L O N. Thank you. There you are. As you mentioned, right? Flan. There you are. Yeah. Amazing. What? This is simple. What is it? I help you in this one. You know, this is too easy for you. Thank you. But thank you so much. <clears throat> what about on this one? Slap. 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 All right. How do we spell it? L. L. Like this one, right? Exactly. Just double check on something. Let me go back. Let me go back on this one. 
just remember on pronunciation, the first word or the first sound is like this one. In present, sleep. sleep. Check on this one. Sleep. 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 And, sleep. And similar with the initial sleep. sound on this one, you sleep. go for sleep. 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 Right? Sleep. 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 What happens when uh, probably uh, it is very common with Spanish speakers? What happens on this one? Because of the influence of Spanish, we usually make this one. And we say, slept. Uh, 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 not like that. Not like that, my friends. Please, please, not like that one. So don't, don't incorporate that sound at the beginning. It is not slept or sleep. S, not, not, not like that one. Sleep, sleep, slept, sleep, slept, 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 all right? Double check on that one, exactly, all right? Can you repeat after me, please? Slept, 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 That's it, that's it. There you are, thank you so much. Double check on that one, please. Little things, but can make a, a difference, right? Don't incorporate extra sound on this one, not slept, uh-uh, not a, uh-uh. Not like that. Thank you. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. We're about to finish on this one. What about the next? <coughs> what is it? Warm. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Warm. Let's work together. W. W-O-R-N. R or R? R. Ah, the that's it, right? Warn, there you are. The past participle. Let's work on the next one. Understood. 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 Easy. 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 Let's work together. Let's do it quick. You and Oh. Exactly, exactly. Understood. Understood. Understood, right? Just double check on something. Sometimes I listen to R and it is not R. Check on the spelling, please. Is no, I listen to yeah, R, yeah, I listen to air. Sorry, right? So double check on that one. Double check on pronunciation. R, right? R, R when you spell. <laughs> Next one. What about this one? What is it? Brought. 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 Let's work together. How do we work on this one? B. B. R. R. O. R. O. 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 D. G. G. H. H. D. Exactly. Exactly. Brought. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. What about this? Come. 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 Is Come. it the same? Come. That's yeah. Cool. Come. Exactly. Come. Thank Come. you so Come. much. In this one. C-O-M-E. Perfect. Come. In this one, there is no change. Right? There is no change. What about this one? Falling. 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 All right, let's spell it. F F F A A L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L Check on this one. This is crazy. It doesn't want to move. You all can right. do it, teacher. The letter yeah. I will. Uh, yeah, all right. Oh, the way you find the way. Oh. Yeah, I, I have to find the way. This is rebel. Come on. <laughs> this game, come on. I'm the teacher. You have to work no. with me. <laughs> what about this one? No. What is no. the first participle? No. 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 Pronunciation, none. 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 
Exactly. None. None. And how do we spell it? K. 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 N. Exactly. Nicely done, people. Nicely done. Nicely done on this one. Congratulations. That's it. All right. Thank you so much. Remember, in this is just a review because in the practice or when we express regrets about something in the past, we need a past participle. That's why we were doing just a quick practice for you to remember or to consolidate your knowledge about this one. Let's work quickly together. What are the elements to express regrets? We were saying? Should plus should have. Plus should have, uh -huh. plus have. And? Plus past participle. Thank you, Jose Roberto. That's very nice of you. But what about the rest? Do you remember, people? I want to listen to you. What are the necessary elements to express regrets? Everybody? Show. Should. Well, uh, have, or should. Have, have, have. And? The past participle. Past participle. There you past are. Past participle. Yeah, there you are, past participle. There you are. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's it, right? That's it. That's pretty much the inform the necessary information on this. Now let's continue with more practice and we continue socializing some information. Let me jump back to my presentation. Let's see. All right, that's it. Do you see my presentation at this point? Yes. Do you, you do? Hey. I use perfect models. Exactly. Yes, we sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. We continue checking on some information. Do you remember what happened to me in the example? He's fine. Yeah. Ah, just left, all right. Just left in the work. And what was the consequence of, of, of that? Uh, your boss found you. Uh huh. My, my fired. boss fired. Uh huh. Fired. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you so much. You see, that's something that happened sure. and there was a consequence. Tell me. Is the same dismiss. Dismiss. Um, <clears throat> let me see. It is kind of related, right? Dismissed, it might be possible, but when you express uh, the intention with a fire, it's usually because something bad happened. So that could be like a small difference, right? It could be the same to stop working in a place, right? You say, I, I was dismissed from my work. You say, hey, bye-bye, you don't work here anymore. But if you say dismissed, uh, probably, the situation was not bad, but it was just a decision, you know, the people made about you continuing in the company. But when you say fire, the emphasis or the background is that something bad happened, right? And for that reason, you stopped working there, right? So he fired me. Why? I was sleeping at work. And the other, uh, I was dismissed from my work. They didn't have money to pay me. That's why I was dismissed. So the context could be different. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, my pleasure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so that's what happened to me, right? That's what you mentioned, right? That was my situation. That's what happened to me, right? So how do you think I feel today in my example? How do you think I feel? Do you think do you think I feel happy? Do you think I feel sad? What he's, do you think? Uh -huh. With sad. my situation? He's yeah. He's sad. He's sad. All right. Thank you feel stressed. Exactly. Depressed. Depressed. Ashamed. Ashamed. Uh, might be possible. Right? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Those... He's crying too. Exactly, crying, exactly, because I won't have money, you know, 
and Holy Week is coming and I and I won't have money. Come on, that's a problem. So that could be right. As a result, I feel not so good. Yesterday we were expressing some uh, regrets, right? That's what we were talking about. But for today, we are going to incorporate more elements, right? And what do we incorporate today? Expressing expressing past possibilities. possibilities. There you are, right? So if you remember yesterday, regrets. Now we incorporate a different element and we express possibility. That's it. For this one, we have uh, more elements in the sentence, which we will practice and then explain on this one. All right. Check on my sentence. Let's read together the red information. And I need everybody's collaboration. Let's do it. Three, two, one. If, if you hadn't been sleeping at work, you were helpful. Exactly. Thank you so much. Right. In this one, we are we are not going to express a regret. Oh, I feel bad for this one. No. At this point, we express a possible uh, something that was possible in the past. But at the end, it is opposite to the reality because it is not real, right? It is not possible to happen anymore. So I can incorporate one idea in this. If you hadn't been, uh, if you hadn't been cut, the at work, you could have continued working there. That was possible, all right? That was this was a possibility. You know, if the situation were different, right? But at this point, oh, my boss, he got me, right? For that reason, we express something that was a past possibility, but not a reality, right? It, it cannot happen. It is not going to happen, actually, right? You could have continued working there. What is other okay. possibility? Continued. Uh -huh. Continue and uh, conti no, <laughs> that's the other one. Let me copy that one, right? That that's a good example, <laughs> to be honest, right? You could have continued, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Let's see. You could have you could have continued, right? Sleeping <laughs> at work. Exactly. That is that would that is expressing a past possibility but at the end you know it cannot happen because at the end you know it was fire so eh, not possible for me what is other example what is other possibility we can express people give me ideas past participle plus complement at this moment mm -hmm. You could have man maintained your job. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Oscar. That was a possibility, right? But the reality, my boss saw me, right? For that reason, you know, you know the background. Something happened to me, right? Is there any other possibility to express about the past? You could have. Uh... Joe in this company. You could have one more time, please. You could have you could have Joe in this company. Like to continue working. Okay, you could mm -hmm. have working work uh, mm -hmm. in this company. All right, why not? Right? You could have Let's come, let's incorporate an element still, right? To to express an idea of duration, right? You could have still worked in this company. That was possible, okay. right? Thank you. Oh, Karen, is there any other possibility for the past about my situation? Future. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Go ahead, Robin. Uh, uh, you could have mm -hmm. call without worries. You could have one more. Can you repeat it, please? You could have calm, calm without worries. Without worries. 
All right. Can you repeat the principal verb, please? Because I didn't, I didn't get it. Sorry for that. Call. Like C A L M E D. Like this one. C A L M. All right, M. All right. Oh. Check on this one. Calm is uh the base form, and we need a past participle, and this one is regular. For that reason, we need calm. All right, remember past participle in this point at this point, right? Let's see, let me put it here. Exactly. Thank you so much. That is to express something that was possible. If you pay attention, it is pretty much similar to the previous uh to the previous structure. Uh, but the difference is not the auxiliary is not should. Should is for regrets. What is the auxiliary for past possibilities, people? Could. Could. Yes, correct, correct, correct. Thank you so much. We're using something different, right? This one is different. Should is for regrets. Could is to express a past possibility right something that was possible in the past but it is not a reality to be honest right and it is not going to happen so remember in this one we express about something from the past thank you so much thank you thank you now before moving to the next information i would like to know if there is any question of this Questions, questions about this info at this point? Hello, hello. Is there any question? Questions, questions? No question for the moment, teacher. All right, thank you, Karen, for your confirmation. What about the rest? What do you say? I see some serious faces at this moment. So like, what's going on? Hmm. I think, teacher, in this moment is, is clear, it's okay. The problem is when past time, mm -hmm. uh, in my case, I forget something, some important things. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Gustavo. Thank you so much for the feedback. What about on the rest? Teacher. Yeah, uh, tell me, tell me, mister. In the beginning of the sentences, Yeah. in this case, we, we have to use only uh, the past I had and past participle too. That is a good point, Jose. Thank you so much. That is, uh, those are some of the necessary elements on the first part of the sentence, all right? That's, that's fine. It is necessary to incorporate on this one. Uh, I will explain to you later on, but you can have the auxiliary have or in the negative form, as in this one, all right? Hadn't, and you need a past participle, right? So in the two ex in the two ideas, because we put two ideas together, we are going to use past participles in this one, right? And we need a uh, had in affirmative or in negative, had or hadn't. Mm -hmm. I will explain this one. I will explain later about the structure and what's it's necessary. Just... Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Perfect. Let's move on to the next one, guys. All right. Because I have more practice and some more information for you. Let me erase my annotations so far and then I move on to the next. Okay. The same situation. All right. We were expressing regrets yesterday. Today, we're, we were expressing past possibilities, but now we are expressing what, people? Expressing? Expressing past likely choice. choice. Likely, likely choice. choice. All right, likely choice. In this likely one, choice. it's like we are expressing like uh, not the obvious, but one of the most probable ideas that could have happened, right? Remembering this one, 
we are not talking about something from the present, something that will happen, but it is like we are expressing ideas about the past. That's what we are doing. And it is possible to that one. Check on this one. Remember, the situation happened to me, right? I was fired, right? But then we have this idea. Notice something. Remember with the, the ideas that we have, have in the first part, <clears throat> right? And then you need a past participle. That is part of the structure. But what happens on the other extreme? What's the auxiliary word using people? Would. 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 Exactly. Would. There you are. We have a different auxiliary to express a likely or a probable or kind of obvious idea on this one, right? The reality, you are not me, right? And this is my situation. But imagine you put yourself on my shoes right? And that's why the sentence begins like this. If I had been you, right? I would have, all right? So in my place, people, what would you have done? Let me see. Let me put an example, right? Remember, my boss found me and I would have, for example, right? I would have locked the door teacher, right? If I had been you, right? Because you know what happened to me, but you put yourself in this position, right? In the situation, and then you express wow. what you would have done if that had been you, right? That is pretty much what we are saying. Like taking your position, teacher, I would have locked the door, right? That was my plan, right? What, what else? What else would you have done people in my situation? Take a vacation, teacher. I would have take past oh, participle. No, took, took. Took. Simple taken, past. Taken, taken, there taken. you are. There taken. you are. Thank you. I would have <laughs> taken vacations. Thank you. Easy. There you are. Thank you. Is there any other? Uh, if you had been me, people, what would you I have would done? Have, if I uh -huh. had been you, uh -huh. I would have so um, sick. I would have. Can, can you repeat the idea, please? I, I, I would have, have so the past I, of say the past said uh -huh. oh, sorry said, said I was sick ah hey that's a good point and I didn't think about that one to be honest right hey but that's a good point right if I had been you I would have said hey I am sick right so probably the boss you know I want to say wouldn't have been boss. too angry all right, thank you. Yeah. That's a good point. Thank you. You know, you have good solutions for situations, people. Is there any other idea, people, about what you will have done in my position? I will have mm -hmm. asked for the day off. All right, thank you. <laughs> Why not? All right, that's a good plan, Robin. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Is there any other plan, people, in my position? What would you have done? Pass the course for all classmates. Pass you. How is this related? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is a good plan. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, my situation is going to benefit mm -hmm. you, right? I would have passed the course for a second. Come on. <laughs> Come on. All right, that's very creative, but that's possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is there any other idea, people? Let me ask on some people. What about you? Let me see. Let me choose one person. Hmm. <laughs> what about you, Edith? What would you have done in my position? Hello, hello, Miss Iris. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm, probably not available at this point. Let me ask an other person. What about you, Jorge Alonso Lopez?
Hello, hello. Not ready. Hmm, amazing. What do you say, Priscilla? Hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm, what's going on? Hey, are you here, people? Hello, hello. Let me choose another person. What about you, Monica? What do you say? Hello. In the option teacher. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. Imagine this situation uh, have happened to you, all right? So put yourself in my position. What would you have done? I would tell my, at my boss that I felt bad. So, all right, so my boss, I felt bad. Oh, that's a good option. Why not, Monica? Thank you. I appreciate your help. Let me choose on the last person to participate on this one. What about you, Patricia? In, it's difficult, but in my case, <laughs> I will have tried to explain <laughs> for because I am uh, tired. Uh, for example, <laughs> last night I I was a uh, a lot of problem problem in my house because I don't sleep good. <laughs> all right, all right. So that's a good alternative. I would have tried to explain that I was tired, right? I had many problems, I didn't sleep, so you know, many things going on. So boss, try to understand, right? Try to understand. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see on Robin, I would have slept well last night. That's a good alternative, Robin, to be honest, right? I would have slept well last night. Oh, and thank you so much. It is for uh, making a sentence over the chat, and I understand you have problems with the audio, right? But thank you so much for being alert on this one. Thank you, thank you. Now, people, after moving to the next part, is there any question about this info? Questions, questions? Everything Clear like horchata at this mo at this moment, clear like water, you know. What's going on? Questions, questions. Hello. No question, teacher. No question, teacher. Not, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Thank you. Everything is okay. All right, everything is okay. No problem. I have practice for you. So you have, we have the chance, you know, to demonstrate if we understood the topic or if not, I can help you. So, you know, it is always a win-win situation. Let's go for the next part. Let me see. There we are. So in this one, people, for this part uh, of the information for could have and would have, we talk about not only about past models, but we talk about this information that you see on a screen, right? It is information about what? The third? Conditional. Conditional. Exactly. Thank you so much. So we're talking about the third conditional. If you remember the examples, what are the necessary elements? For this one, we have two ideas, right? Two ideas. Do you remember the elements that we need? Conjunctions. Uh -huh. Thank you. What are the necessary elements, people? Uh, should, I should? Should, uh, should for conditional? No. That uh, is cool. more for a uh, cool, uh, exactly cool. for a complete cool. ideas. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would, 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 uh huh. Would, could, uh, would. could have exactly. And what about on the first part of the sentences? Do you remember some of the necessary elements we need? Past participle. 
as participles. Uh -huh. participles. Subject. Subject. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Something is missing. Hmm. In the first part, we need a past participle. Obviously, a subject. But what else? Something is missing. Thank you. Norman, can you repeat it, please? If. Uh, if. There you are. Exactly. We begin a sentence with if. Oh, when wow. we incorporate that one, we are expressing that it is a condition, right? Something that probably is not real. So we, that like a, an imaginary situation. All right. Check on this one. Let me put the information on the screen. All right. And as you see on your screens, we have some of the information that is necessary, right? That is in general terms. What is the first element that we need people? Let's read it together. The first one is? If. If, exactly. If. if. Then we have a subject. I didn't include the subject because it is obvious that we need a subject, all right? That's why I skipped it. And after if, what is, what's necessary? Have. Uh, have, exactly. And after have, what do we need? Plus, 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 plus simple. Exactly. And after we finish the first idea, what's the necessary element? Could or would? Could or would? Check on this one. No, no, no. Check on this one. Ah, this element. Comma. Comma. Exa exactly. Thank you so much. So we need a comma on that one. So we have if, have, past participle. After that, we need a comma. And on the next part, we need a subject. Right? I didn't include the subject, but, you know, it's obvious that we need it. And after that, we can have two possibilities. Could or would. Would. Could. Could. Exactly. Could. And exactly in the last okay. part. Past, 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 past. <laughs> that, that's the combination. Exactly. We need a past participle on that. Thank you so much. Now, take a look at some examples. This is part of the conversation from yesterday, okay? Now, can you read the sentence with the third conditional in this part? What is the sentence with the third conditional? If you have called call 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 to my phone, I, I could have called to my phone. I could have found a substitute by now. Exactly. That's it. Right. That is a sentence incorporating a conditional. Right. The person is expressing an idea from the past and expressing something that was possible, but not a reality. Right. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. Check on something relevant when we talk about third conditional and about this info. All the, the idea, right, or the majority of the idea, let's say, right, let's not, uh, I don't want to make generalizations, but the majority of the idea is based on something opposite to the reality, right? Let's analyze the first part and let me highlight some of this one. Let's pay attention to the first part. And that's it. Let me change the color. That's it. Let's pay attention to this. Oh, no, this color is not so good. Let me go for red. Oh, that's better. Let's pay attention to this part, right? In this part, we have some elements that makes reference to something of the past. If he had called to my phone, Question to all of you. Talking about the real events, did the person call the kitchen manager? No. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. What about the rest? I, I would love to listen to the rest. Did the person call the kitchen manager? No, no they didn't call. Oh. Exactly, right? 
What's the reality? Uh -huh. He he did didn't didn't call exactly the kitchen right? manager. There kitchen you are. Manager. Exactly. Thank you so much. That is the reality. He didn't call the kitchen manager. That is something real. And based on that something real, we express an imaginary situation. For that reason or for that, uh, we need a third conditional. And how do we express that one? Using have and the past participle of one idea. For example, as you have here, you know, this is the, the, the clear example. He didn't call, but in a perfect word, right? That is what we want to express. If he had called, right? That is what the person is expressing. If he had called to my phone, something was possible in the past, right? I could have, I could have found some uh, a substitute by now, right? That is talking about something opposite from the reality. Did the kitchen manager find some someone? Uh, did the let's let, let me reorganize my idea. Did the kitchen manager find a substitute at this point? What do you think? Did he find a uh, or yeah? Did he find a substitute at this moment? No. 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 no exactly. He no, he did not. Right. That's 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 the point. Right. Opposite to the reality. And then the person incorporates an auxiliary to say, "Hey, this was possible. I could have found right a substitute by now." All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Questions so far, people? Questions, questions? Questions? Not at this moment? Up, up Not for the moment, All right. Okay. All right. Not yet. Right. Oh, yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Tell, me tell me. No questions. All, always after all, mm -hmm. after of if mm -hmm. we had a he or they or we, mm -hmm. wherever that uh, mm -hmm. subject. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. In this case, in this case, when we use this structure, the subject is not going to affect the rest of the structure, right? We could have I, we, they, she. The same is going to be for could and would, and then a past participle, right? Could, ha, and something is missing here. Give me a second. Give me a sec. Now that I am realizing this one, give me a second. Something is missing, boys and girls, at this one. Let me. Incorporate this one. Remembering this one, this element is missing on my on my presentation, and I apologize for that one. It is like this one: could, and then have plus the past participle. That should be the correct structure, right? So please take note of that one: plus have. Plus, plus past, past. Exactly, exactly, right? Could have, and after have, you need the past participle. That's oh. the idea, right? Could have past participle, could have found, and something like that, all right? So that is the complete information about conditionals at this moment. Now, are you ready for practice, people? Yeah. Um, yeah. Really? Yes. Let's do yes. it. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you for your confirmation. Let me switch the screen at this moment so we work together on this point, on this exercise. All right. Do we see? Uh, do you see my my screen at this moment? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. Exactly. 
Exactly. Thank you so much. Now let's work together. At this moment, we are going to match, right? So we're going to put together two ideas using conditional sentences. Let's see on this one. Let's read together, right? Let's read the banner. I wouldn't. Wouldn't. Wouldn't have cooked meat. 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 What is a meat. what is a a good complement for this one? Check on the alternatives here. Conditional. <laughs> conditionals. He is hot. You, you I have told to... me you were vegetarian. Vegetarian. Mm -hmm. All right, thank uh, you. What, if what you have what, told me you have told me were, you were vegetarian. 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 Exactly. <laughs> thank I you. I wouldn't so. have cooked meat. Exactly. That's it, right? If you have told me you were vegetarian, <laughs> I wouldn't have cooked meat. What's the reality? Did the person tell that he or she was a vegetarian? No, she don't don't tell. Didn't didn't tell. Didn't tell the that she is veget vegetarian. Exactly right. That's the reality. The and the person, other person uh -huh. meat. E exactly, that is the reality, right? The person didn't say anything, the other cooked, right? So in the conditionals, yeah. we think about the opposite to the reality. If you have told me, right? I would have cooked meat, right? As in Spanish, porque no hablo amor, right? Something like that, right? That is what the person is saying. If you have told me. <laughs> exactly. That's it, right? No in, Spanish, in Spanish, is. Uh -huh. Hoy te lo comes. Ah, exactly, right? <laughs> that's it, right? That, that's like uh, when you invite people, right? Now it's like you have to eat it. <laughs> there is no alternative. Thank you. That's it. Thank you so much. Let's work on the next one. Let's read together the banner from, from, from the airplane. I... I, I, I will have, 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 have a shower. A shower. Let's look for the complement. Please. If, if, have, if they hadn't cut off the bond. water. If they hadn't cut off the water. Ah, exactly. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So let's go for the next one. Let's read together the banner. If she had earlier. Earlier. All right. Let's look for the complement. How do we Vivian wouldn't have missing mm -hmm. the train. Mm. All right. Oh. What about the rest? What do you say? Maybe. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Miriam wouldn't have missing the train. Wouldn't have missing the train. Have missing the train. Uh -huh. Check on pronunciation. Missed. 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 Exactly. Right? Thank you. So what's the reality? Did Miriam wake up early? No. 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 Miriam. All right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's the reality, right? If, Miriam uh, missed the train. Exactly. That is the other, right? She missed the train and she woke up late. So we imagine something opposite to the reality. And we use conditionals, as you see, right? Thank you. Nicely done, nicely done. Let's read together the next one. If you, if you have, if you have, have worn a sweater, sweater, a sweater, let's work on this one. Compliment. You would you have, would have, have been cold. So wet. So you wet. have been cold. Cold. You wouldn't have been cool. Cool. Cold. 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 You wouldn't have been cool. All right, all right, all right, thank you. That's it, right? You wouldn't have been called if you had worn a sweater, right? That is opposite to the reality. Did the person wear a sweater? No. No. No, she didn't. No, she, exactly, right? The person didn't. The person didn't wear a sweater, and as a result, the person was called, right? That's the reality. We imagine the opposite. Thank you. 
and nicely done. What about this one? If you had taken an umbrella, 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 you wouldn't have got, 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 got so wet. wet. You wouldn't have got so wet. You wouldn't have got so wet. Say umbrella. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you so much. What's the compliment, Pablo? Uh -huh. The reality? <laughs> exactly. The wet. reality, you are wet. After work, imagine that one, right? Oh, yeah. my goodness. And tomorrow, huh? you will be sick. That's it, right? That is a possible, that is a possible <laughs> thing happening tomorrow. There you are. Thank you, thank you. That's it, right? Thank you. Nicely done on this one. My life. Oh. Uh, let's read together. My life has totally been totally totally different. different. All right. Let's look for the campament. I have been born a boy. If I have been if I have been born a baby or a boy. So if imagine this one, the person that is expressing the idea, is she a boy or is this a is this person a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl. A girl. A girl. All right, that's why she the person is imagining something different right that like something that is not possible but an imaginary situation all right what about for you karen would your life be so different if you have been born a boy i think i think this this example is right thing for <laughs> uh what is the name the singer uh like Beyonce. Beyonce. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly, right? She has a, a song like that. Born a boy. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. How different would your life be, Karen? Uh, I like my life like woman. You like it? Yeah. I Amazing. don't imagine my life being a boy a boy all right thank yeah. you huh? that's it thank you thank you what about for you let me ask on people what about for you stephanie how different would your life be um, i would like a life of visito mm -hmm. comunica all right huh like that because one. <laughs> he's traveling for around the world all right, that would be possible. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's think about the opposite voice, right? Let's imagine, right? My life would have been totally different if I had been born a girl. What do you think, boys? How would your life be different from now? I would be married, I would have babies, right? I would work, I would be a, 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 a model or something like that. What do you what do you imagine, boy? How different would your life be? Hmm. Everybody making reflections at this moment, right? Don't worry, boys. It's just a simple question, right? <laughs> Norman wants to participate, right, Norman? Go ahead, mister. No, teacher. I, uh, I have never seen, seen that probability. <laughs> All right. No, I, I'm, uh, I'm you are so well, well teacher. I'm very well, uh, mm -hmm. like, like um, a man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Norman. Hey, Sergio, why am I bad? What's going on? You are open the door of the closet. Nah, come on. No, no, no. I'm not doing that one, right? This is just an imaginary situation, right? <laughs> right? Thinking you are about so bad teacher. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not <laughs> the idea. Oh, my goodness, brother. <laughs> right? I, my goodness. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know? You know, 
imagining something that you know will be hard, would be like a different story, opposite from the reality, right? You say, I would have had uh, a sugar daddy problem, right? If I had been born a boy, why not, right? It's possible. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice is done on this one to complete. Let's work on the next one. Let's read together. I, I would have if I hadn't eaten mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't eaten so much. What I about the rest? Hmm? Eating so much. Hmm? If I hadn't eaten so much. All right, thank you so much. What's the reality of this one? The person, what happened to the person? He's sick. Feel sick. The, it, it's sick. And what's the reason? Because he or she? It it ate so much. much. So much. That's it, right? The person ate so much. So that is the reality. We imagine something different. Nicely done. Perfect. We are three sentences to finish on this one let's work on this one let's read together he he, he will have, have won tennis won match, tennis match. Won the tennis match if james had if james had if james had injured had his, his ankle. ankle that's it right had an injured his ankle right so he had an accident he didn't win the, the tennis match so we imagine the opposite, right? If he hadn't injured his ankle, he would have won the tennis match. That's it. Let's work on this one. We, we have we will have visited you. That's it. Exactly. Right. We will have visit you if. Visited, visit or visited, visited you. Visited, visited. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? That's it, right? Visited you if we have none the address. address. The last one, pretty difficult, pretty difficult. Let's work together. I wouldn't have been in the project. project. I wouldn't have been in the project. I wouldn't have been in the that's it, right? If George hadn't helped me. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's it. Perfect, perfect. And nicely done on this one, people. Nicely done on this one. Matching the different ideas to have a, a, a correct uh, third conditional sentence. <sighs> questions so far? Questions, questions? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Do you want more practice? More practice. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes yeah. another exercise like it's, this. Exactly, why not? Let's work together on something from the book as well, right? Because uh, we need to cover on some content on this one. So let me take you back to the book. Yesterday, we worked on page 29. We move on to page 30, all right? This is the information that I, I was socializing to you over the presentation, right? Perfect models to express regrets, remorse about past actions, all right? Quickly, what is the structure or what is the, the model to express regrets? The model to express regrets, people? Would, could, or should? Should. Should. Should, should yeah. right? Exactly. We express regrets with should. That's it. Should. It, the, yeah, correct. Let me make it a little bit bigger, but not so much. Okay, let's read the sentences over this book. The first one, I should. I should. I should. 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 Sooner. Sooner, exactly, right? So the person feels bad about something. The reality, that person didn't send the report on time 
And that's why the person feels bad and thinks about this one. I should have seen, expressing regret, right? The, the person feels bad. Second example, a negative, I shouldn't have, have, shouldn't have, 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 have seen to carry, to carry those, those boxes. 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 All right, imagine probably the lady had an accident and for that reason, he feel, this person feels bad. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes, right? Expressing regrets. Now, on the other part, what is the model to express that something was possible? A possibility in the past. Uh -huh. It. It. Cool. cool. Exactly. And cool. to ex and thank you. Thank you so much. And to express a likely plan on a past action. We use oh, would. That's it, right? Would exactly. In this one, it is usually like a combination of ideas, and that's what we were checking on the presentation, right? If have past participle, and then the complement on this one. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's work quickly on some exercise. By the way, do you have your books, people? Yes. Yeah, teacher. you do. You yes. do. All right, perfect. Let's work together on this exercise, and I need your collaboration because I will give you a few minutes to work on this one. How much time do you think you need to complete this exercise? Number six. How much time do you need? Complete the sentence with uh -huh. sure, cool, uh -huh. cool, have. Plus past parties. Thank you, Pablo. Thank you for your collaboration. Thank you, thank you. Now, how much time do you need to complete? One minute is enough? Two minutes. Two minutes? Five oh. minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. I was thinking about 10. It's okay, 10 minutes. <laughs> it's okay, it's now, yeah. come on. <laughs> come on. I'll give you one minute because I know you are very smart. Right. Remember, you are the, the wow. smartest group and the most intelligent group. So let's work on this one. Thank you. Ready, ready, everybody. I don't know. Yes, let's do it. I know, I know, I know you have uh you're very smart as I mentioned before. So you this exercise is a piece of cake for all of you. Let me see. 
let me change on my uh, font size and everything so we have complete okay so at this moment please i need your collaboration but let me make this one a little bit bigger Children haven't took. Children not take. let me see give me a second just to get in this one can i change to 180 here let me get the correct size for this one That's it. All right. I guess that is pretty much uh, a good space in on this. Now, I need your collaboration, people. Tell me, please, how to complete the first sentence. Let's read together. The bartender. The bartender. The bartender. The bartender shouldn't have taken the bottle, bottle of wine without, without permission. Right? Shouldn't have. Taken. taken. That's it, right? Shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission. Exactly, right? The person is expressing like, hey, I regret on this one. The next one, let's read and complete as you read and tell me the information. The servers. The servers, the servers will have been, have been, have been, have been, been in trouble if the they meeting. have been late for the meeting. They have been late for the meeting. Ah, uh, that's it, right? That was like something possible, right? Something likely to happen. They would have been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting, right? Were they late for the meeting? Let's talk about the reality. Were they late? What do you think? The servers. No, uh -huh. they didn't. All right. The they were not. Right. They were not. Uh huh. The servers were not late. Right. But we imagine a possible situation, right? If they had been late, they would have been in trouble, right? But nothing happened. So that is just to imagine uh, a different scenario. Let's go for the next one. You. You should have asked for a day manager off. for a day off. Manager. Uh, all right. Exactly. You should have asked. That's it, right? That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nicely done. Let's work on the next one. The cashier. The cashier. The cashier should have taken the money have from the from the register shouldn't have taken that's it all right that's it thank you thank you so much and the last one i yeah. should have i should have called i was sick my manager i was sick mm -hmm. all right should have called uh to let the manager uh Thick, right? To let the manager know. In this one, I guess something is missing, right? To let the manager, let me see. To let you know I was sick. Right. Probably this could be like the best, uh, like the best compliment. So double check and try to change on on the part on the last part, right? I should have called to let the manager know I was sick, right? So. That was like a good idea. The person, the person is expressing regret on this one. Now, questions of this exercise, people? Questions, questions. Hello, hello. Like the horchata, teacher. Like or, uh, like horchata. Difficult then. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, it's okay. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. You scared me at this moment. All right, thank you. Uh, do you want more practice, people? Or oh, that's enough? We need more, we need more practice. More. more practice. All right. About now. We have a lot of information and we need make a review. Of exactly. Of this exactly. Week. All right, thank you. I give you the option at this moment. I have two activities for you. Do you want to have a group activity, right? You decide the, the order. 
do you want to have the group activity first or do you want to or do you want to work in groups at this moment what do you want no in group no in groups at this moment in this moment no in group not in groups for Sergio. What about the rest? What do you say? I give you the chance. I want to listen to you. Group activity, complete class activity or group or individual groups? Complete class. Complete class. Complete class. First. All right, first. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the feedback. And, you know, I love to, to listen to my students and why not? Let's work together. Let me see, let me change the screens. So we have a nice practice as well on this. <clears throat> now, after we have checked the necessary elements, we Ooh, have come, we have, no, nah, the no, nah, this is not, <laughs> come on. <laughs> All right, after uh, completing exercises, it's time to create sentences. All right, so let's work together on this one. Something simple as you see. Now, as we're gentlemen, ladies, you start. Make a selection, ladies, from one to 10. Five. Five, all right, thank you so much. Let me click on number five for you. Now, oh, check on that one. Recent scores, zero, zero, everybody. So, no problem, right? Boys, you are next. Choose a uh, six number ten four six. six ten. I listen. The first one I listened was number four, boys. So I will go for number four. All right, four. Check on this one. I give you a sentence talking about the reality. From the reality, we create a conditional sentence. Okay, that's the activity at this point. Boys, but I need your collaboration at this moment. Boys, let's read the sentence. Let's read the reality. Last week, boys. Last, last week, 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 a new mobile phone. Let's think about a conditional, thinking about the opposite. How do we complete this one, boys? Last week, Luis lost two thousand. Wait, wait, give me a second, give me a second. All right, I need to change on this one. And let me get my annotations. That's it. All right, boys, let's work together on this one. How do we create a conditional sentence on this one? Eliminate the word last week. It is not necessary to incorporate it in the conditional. Remember, we begin conditionals with if, right? So how do we begin the sentence? If Luis. If, uh -huh. if Luis. Wow. Should... Mm -hmm. uh, shouldn't, shouldn't have. Shouldn't oh. is for regrets. Ah, excuse me. Would, 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 couldn't would, have. Would, mm -hmm. Wouldn't have phone. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't have phone. Wouldn't have two hundred dollars. dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me. I, I am your secretary. Mm -hmm. On a, on the street. street. On the street. Uh huh. He he wouldn't he, he wouldn't, wouldn't have bought a new mobile phone. See, excellent. Barbaro, Sergio. Amazing. Sergio he, he is on fire. He is on fire at this <laughs> moment, <laughs> but not with fever. Not with fever, but on fire with the activity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Do you agree with this version? Yes. Yes. What about the rest? Do you agree with this version? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. It's okay. All right. Let me 
Let me move this one a little bit. 100 me... points for the boys. My goodness. Check on this one. Let me see. What's the correct version, people? If Luis have is is missing. Ah, have check it. on that one. If oh. Luis haven't found, remember the first one, it's like expressing something different from the reality. The reality, he found the money. So we say if Luis haven't found the money, and then we have would have in past participle. He wouldn't have bought a new mobile phone, right? Your version was different, so no points for the boys at this moment, right? Ladies, your turn comes next. Make a selection. One. Number one, perfect. Check on this one. Ladies, I need your collaboration. Let's read it together. Ladies, last week, Last week, I ate some food poisoning. Uh-huh, food poisoning, right? That is when you are bad of the stomach, right? Food poisoning. <laughs> All right, so remember the expression last week is not necessary in this one. Now, I need your help, ladies. What's the version? If I... We have to make a condition. The condition, exactly. Yeah. This is the reality. So let's create okay. a conditional from this. If I have, if I have eaten, if I hadn't, I hadn't. Mm -hmm. I'm your secretary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I hadn't. Uh, Eighteen. Mm -hmm. Some undercooked. Some chicken. undercooked kitchen. Chicken. Pardon. Mm -hmm. Chicken. All right. Chicken. Uh huh. I. I. I wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. food, poisoning. food poisoning a food poisoning let's see food poisoning okay i give short time ladies do you agree with this version or do you want to have change had, have had we let's mean see? had after have yeah have. like that one karen yeah all right ladies what do you think I agree. Katie, thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies, what do you say? Do you agree? I want to listen to the majority of you saying that you agree or not. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah, you do. All right, let's see on this one. Let me work on this one. Ah, check out this one. Is everything okay? Uh, in this case, you, right? But don't pay attention to you. It's okay with I. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Exactly. Yeah. Talking about the verse, everything is okay. Yes. Talking about something different yeah. from that reality. Right? If I have it, uh, the okay. subject. Yeah, that's it. But yeah. that's that's acceptable. 15 points for you, ladies. Nicely done. Yeah, exactly. You are on top. Boys, you are next. Choose a number. 10. Exactly. I go for number 10. Don't worry. Let me choose on that one. <laughs> boys. I'm sorry, boys. What's the power up? Hello, boys. What did you get at we this moment? Crying. Oh my goodness, yeah, check it. You are on the negative side oh, at this wow. moment, right? Yes, 25 <laughs> points. You owe me minus 25. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Ladies, you are next. 
Selection, ladies, please. Number nine. Okay, why not? All right. Now, ladies, let's work together. Let's read the sentence. Ladies, last. Last week, Last week, the team had a good idea for a new product from a goat promoter. Uh, all right, thank you so much. Just remember the, the info. We don't pay attention to that one. And let's work together, ladies. How do we create a conditional based on this? If, if, if they... If the team, if the the team, team has, oh, teacher, if the conditional mm -hmm. is necessary, had in the sentence already have a had, if the you team could, what we do it. Uh, remember the principal action is have the other is just an auxiliary so it's like have, it have? looks like you duplicate uh -huh. we can use have have okay mm -hmm. I if guess the thing have have if the thing hadn't have all right mm -hmm. a good idea for mm -hmm. a new product uh-huh, thank you so much. Ladies, let help Karen, please, please. It's it's teamwork. Yes. Uh-huh. Cool for new yeah, new idea for a new product. Uh, new product. Uh -huh. They couldn't. They 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 couldn't have have got promote you said promote what is the pronunciation promoted promoted mm -hmm. okay. got promoted all right promoted check on this one ladies check on the sentence and let me know if you agree or if you suggest any change <clears throat> Comment, ladies. <sighs> ladies, ladies, do you agree on the sentence on this version? Yes, I'm a great teacher. You do? I agree. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Check on this one. Hmm. Do we have something similar? The auxiliary is different. The auxiliary yes. is different, right? But at this point, uh, because we don't have context, let's say it was possible right couldn't have gotten promoted is it's a valid alternative right it's something that was uh, not possible probably or would have gotten promoted the two alternatives i would say are okay right so points for you ladies thank you so much you're on the positive side boys let's revert this situation choose a number please six six perfect Right. Let's read together, boys. I need your collaboration. Last week. Last week. Last week I lost my passport. My passport, my passport and at the airport, I couldn't board the plane to go, to go on holiday. I couldn't board the plane to go on holiday. That's if it. I had hadn't lost my uh -huh. passport. If I hadn't lost. My passport at the airport. Thank and, you. And I couldn't. Thank you. Hey, what the, what about the rest? What about the? I appreciate your help. What about the rest, people? I, sh or I shouldn't be plane to go on holiday. 
what is the pronunciation of the pass of the board? Boarded. Board, board. Boarded. Boarded the plane to go on holiday. All right, thank you so much, Sergio, for helping your team. What about the rest of you guys? What do you think? I, I think that is cool. No cool then. All right. So we eliminate the negative in this one. All right. Guillermo, thank you so much for your suggestion. Boys, what do you think? I think it's should. 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 Mm -hmm. In what place, mister? Like, instead of could? Instead of could. Like this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think, boys? Should or could? Should. The thing is cool. Could. Why could? Because should is for regrets. Uh-huh. And we are talking about what? At this, at, what is the context of this one? Is this a regret? So let's keep up with could, right? As you mentioned. Boys, do you agree with this version? This is this. I'm agree. You agree? Yeah. All right. I agree thank with could pitch. All right. Could. Thank you. Let's see on this one. All right. Ah, it's about possibility. Thank you so much. Check on this one. The subject is different, but don't pay attention to that one, right? Is everything okay at this moment? Yes, teacher. Could have, right? Could have boarded the plane. Thank you. Yes. Points for you, boys. Minus 10. That's progress, people. That's progress. Thank you. Uh, Ladies, <laughs> you are next. Ladies, uh, you are happy. Are no, I'm, happy not, I'm not happy. I'm not uh, happy. Uh, no. yes, <laughs> Right. I'm happy for the ladies, you know, I'm happy for yeah. the ladies. But okay. in general, I'm happy because we are participating and we are learning a lot. Ladies, selection, please. Seven. All right, thank you. Number seven. Check on this one. Let's read, let's read together, everybody. Ladies, last week. Last week. Alejandra injured her neck in a car accident. She didn't wear a seatbelt. A seatbelt, all right? How do we create the conditional? If Alejandra yes. had, had, if Alejandra had, what is the past to work? Uh, we practiced that one at the beginning of the yeah. class. <laughs> <laughs> what is the past participle of where? Word. Thank Word. you. Exactly. And how do you spell it, people? I said here, you are a lady. <laughs> no, come on. He's helping. He's a gentleman. Come on. <laughs> hey, relax, Mr. Roberto. Relax. It's just a I game, my friend. The girls. These girls are from We're... another planet. Yeah, we are gentlemen. She, she born with the English like second language. My goodness. It's very nice. Very nice. Thank you. If Alejandra have worn, worn uh -huh. a seatbelt, uh -huh. the seatbelt. All right, yeah. Uh, let's say the seatbelt, no problem. Okay, a seatbelt. Mm -hmm. uh, she. Uh -huh. and the rest would of the way. Would it? Uh -huh. Would it? Uh -huh. Have. Have injured uh, her, her neck in, in a car accident. All right, thank you so much for helping on this one. Ladies, I want to listen to your confirmation. Are you happy with this version? 
Yes, I'm agreeing. Thank you. I agree. Agree. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's double check on this one. Let me see. I, sorry for the name, it's different. Don't pay attention if Carly, if Alejandra. It's Carla Alejandra. That's the name of the lady, Carla okay. Alejandra. <laughs> All right. Have worn the seat belt. She would have injured. Is your sentence okay? Have injured her neck. Okay. Yes. Perfect, ladies. Thank you. Points for you. 45. Boys, time to, to make the comeback, right? Time for the comeback as Real Madrid today. Boys. <laughs> tell me, tell me, please. Selection. Two. Number two. Thank you. All right. Number two. Let's read together. All right. Last week. Last week. Last week. Josh didn't make an appointment made with, an appointment with a dentist. And later he had a terrible toothache. Toothache. All right. Toothache. Thank you. Tell me. How do we create a conditional based on this one? If, if, if Josh mm -hmm. didn't have, had, uh, had made an appointment. With the mm -hmm. dentist. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What about the rest? How do we complete? Well done. Thank you, Guillermo. He wouldn't. Uh huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Had a terrible two stage. To think. Okay, thank you so much for your help uh, to the group. Thank you so much. Boys, what do you think about this version? I think I don't know if after Joe is mm -hmm. out. In the first part. Yes. The first part. Like yes. like this one. If Josh have made like this one. All right, let's let's listen to the boys. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. thank you so much, Javier. That's good. What do you think, boys? If Josh have made, is this the cor is this correct? What do you think? Yeah. No. Yes. Not teacher. Not teacher. Is have is have. Yes. Have. Have. Yes. Have. May uh -huh. the appointment mm -hmm. when the destined he will have, have a terrible terrible toothache. Terrible toothache. All right. Thank you. Boys, do you agree with this version? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's check on this oh. one. No. No, it's in, in past negative teacher. It's just having, made. Haven't. See? Mm -hmm. uh, like that one. Ah, uh, may. Mm -hmm. Have or haven't people? Have. Thank you, Pablo. I'm agree with Jose Roberto. You agree with Jose Roberto, Norman? Okay. All right, thank you. If if the form like the Robert say mm -hmm. in the second part will be 
Why wouldn't he wouldn't have had terribly? Mm -hmm. I so, having, mm -hmm. having. All right. So at this moment, I have three people, three boys that agree with the having made. What about for the other, the original version that you have? How many people agree with that one? How many boys? I think that is the first one because one. Mm -hmm. it's the opposite that the sentence says. Because it is the opposite of the original sentence. All right, thank you. So let's see, Guillermo is in favor of number one. All right, what about the rest of the boys? Original version or the new version? Original version. Original, two boats, two boats for that one. Original version. Original, three. Three and three. Original. Original, four. Four right. is okay. Four is okay, all right. Thank you so much. So let's keep the original version at this moment. Let's see on this one. Ah, check on that one. Okay. If Josh had made the original version was okay, all right? Check on this one as for Guillermo that mentions, and you are correct, Guillermo. When you have uh, the reality didn't make, so you go for the opposite, right? Have made, like affirmative in this one, negative on the other, right? So we go for the opposite, so to express a conditional, right? Thank you. Good analysis on this one. And nice, we're done, boys. You are on the positive side, boys. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Ladies, let's make your selection, three or eight. Ladies, ladies. No ladies, teacher. No three. ladies. Number three. Number three. All right. The ladies are sleeping at this moment. No ladies. Don't sleep. Almost. Almost time. Let's read together. Ladies, last week. Last, last week, week my, my brother, brother had a fight, fight and got and a got black a eye. eye. All right. Thank you so much. Let's make that conditional, ladies. This happened when he go play to the... Play soccer. Play <laughs> soccer. Get <laughs> <to laughs> him, <the> friends. <laughs> Possible, right? Possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, ladies, let's work together. If if my brother had, mm -hmm. if my brother hadn't, 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 hadn't had, had a fight, a black eye, mm -hmm. he, oh, sorry. he, a fighting, wouldn't. Have got a black eye. Got a black eye. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Very active from you, ladies. Now, do you agree with this version or do you suggest any change? We are agree. Thank you. Agree. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. The ladies agree on this one. Check on that sentence. Is everything okay for that one? Have a five. Mm -hmm. He wasn't have a black eye. Yeah. Congrats, congrats. That's okay, right? So we, we imagine a different scenario. Thank you. Remember in this one, something interesting. When you talk about the eye color, you don't say I have black eyes. You say I have dark, right? Dark eyes. Check on this one. Black eyes is this, right? This is a black eye, right? After a hit. So you don't say I have black eyes, you say dark, right? So go for that one. Dark okay, eyes. Thank you. That, that is something interesting. So don't say I have black eyes because if not, people imagine you have a fight and you are like, like that one. <laughs> so double check on that one. Ladies, congrats. Boys, let's go for the last one. 
tell me, boys, let's work together on this one. How do we complete? Boys, boys, boys. Yeah. If Andrew, uh -huh. if Andrew, having, 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 uh, felt, 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 in class, he, he didn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't? no. <laughs> No, no, he would. He would, he would. positive. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He would understand, understand the topic. Understand understood the topic. the topic. Have. Ah, have. thank you so much. Would then ha would have would. understood, understood. The, topic. the topic. All right, topic. thank you. Thank you. Boys, do you agree on this one? Check on the, the elements, please. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's check on this one. Let's see. I have a surprise for you. Is your sentence okay? Oh. Ah, falling. Ah, the verb people, past participle of. In this one, the present is fall, the past is fell, past participle fallen, right? That's it, right? If Andrew hadn't fallen asleep uh, in class, he would have understood the topic. The rest was okay, but the past participle, not so much, boys, not so much. So sorry, oops, no points for you, all right? Who's the winner of the game? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, girls. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, boys. You did a nice job, too. Ladies, second win, right? Second win on this one. Nicely you done. <laughs> you see, it is not tricked, right? Is not it the price, tricked. teacher? Yeah, is exactly. It the price. The price. Exactly. Shaquille, Shaquille O'Neal is the price. Ah, oh, this is the price. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, people. I appreciate your collaboration and your help on this one. It was nice working with you. Tomorrow, we have a little bit more of a speaking practice. So we continue socializing and we continue, um, you know, learning and we have more fluency when talking about this content. All right. Any okay. question before we leave or ready to sleep? Ready to sleep, teacher. Ready to sleep. Yes. Yes? What Thank about the rest? Ready to sleep. sleep. All right. Go to sleep, oh. people. Rest. And tomorrow right. we continue. It was nice working with you. Bye-bye and good night. Good night. Bye. See you. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Take care. See you. See you.